I just realized it's deleting my arm because it's above my head. Ah! Hello, everybody. My name is Cyrus, and this is the Cobb Brothers Podcast. I'm not in a bathtub, despite my Markiplier impression. This is uh, episode 148. Today, I am joined in Discord by my friends and fellow co-hosts, Barndor. Uh, that's me. That is Barndor, and we're also joined by Colton. He did hand motions. And uh, the other two are both currently sharing the bathroom. It's very weird. Uh, it's like a stand-up yeah. sit-down situation, but it's like at the same time. I don't get it. Yeah, it's no, like no, they're they're both they're both sitting down. One's just facing the other one. Yeah, on a mountain. <laughs> it's podcast it's like that episode already. of Futurama. <laughs> like the or first was that, Rick and, that was Rick and Morty. That was Rick and Morty. Which one are you talking about? The the toilet episode. Uh, oh, okay. I'm pretty sure that was Rick and Morty. Um, I think I know what you're talking about. I'm gonna agree with you. Where where it was like the the most pristine toilet in the middle of like nowhere, and he tricked the guy to going there or whatever. Hundred percent Rick and Morty. Him. Yeah. Okay. I'm remembering now. It's coming back to me. <laughs> I just started rewatching that the other day. I forgot about the first season episodes because I haven't seen them in like seven years. It's been so long. The first season was really good. Mm-hmm. All right, gamers, what's going on in our neck of the woods? Any news, uh, updates, flashes of light? Um, nah. No angelic presences? I, I mean, I've been playing Minecraft, and we've only been creeped three times. Yeah, Colt. Record. Brandon started a, just a world whenever he's playing, and we yeah. have signs everywhere. Like, we just made, like, 100 signs and started putting up random jokes and words. And- that- that creeper was probably just offended, and that's why he went inside and specifically only blew up the signs and like barely anything else. <laughs> On three separate occasions, a creeper has come in and blown up all our signs. And since we don't th- remember any of them, we have to make new ones. I think having all the signs up around the house honestly protect it from the creepers, because if the signs weren't there, it would have blown <clears> up <throat> the walls. Yep. You know? <laughs> I got Oscar, though. I made a sign that just said bird flu. Yeah, they do that. <laughs> and he's like he cannot get over that one uh, my bedroom in Brandon's house is uh, the piss room because it's got a yellow bed so all the signs around it are just pee jokes like we'll piss for money <laughs> it's a very fun world the thing I'm trying to do is build I think it's a decorated pot and you have to build a brush and find suspicious gravel and sand and I can't fucking find it I've been looking for it for like four hours of game time it's supposed to be have slightly looked, discolored. Have you looked up where to find it? Yeah, it's like warm ocean biomes, and you can find them on trails with those new like uh, paths that spawn. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. They're like multicolored. Oh. Yeah, I've never seen one before, so I'm just seeing if I can just stumble upon one. Yeah, and I have not found a single desert or like gravelly biome yet. Mm-hmm. It's a pretty green and lush world so far. Yeah, underground desert temples is another place to find them. And when- head south. south. That's in the next direction I need to go. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the way the maps are laid out is north gets colder, south gets hotter. I kept trying to run west, and at some point it was just running in the snow for like seven minutes straight, pissing me off. Yeah, I nearly killed my dogs and my cats because they were fucking just drowning in the snow because they fall in and can't get out. Yep, idiots. Yeah, Minecraft's been a lot of fun. Uh, I've been playing a lot of X Defiant this week. The free-to-play Ubisoft shooter. I uninstalled it. The hit detection drives me crazy. It is outrageous how bad it is in this game. I I, I can't I cannot stand the hit detection in that game. If they fix it, I might give it another shot in the future. But Jesus. Uh, so I told you how snipers were current meta at the moment, right? Right. One shot kill. When you shoot them, they don't flinch, so there's no penalty for them standing out in the open. Uh, the other one is just to constantly jump because it breaks your hitbox. Yeah. And now I have people that are constantly sitting there jittering across the map, fucking flying because you can't shoot them. <laughs> it's irritating. It's the worst thing ever. It shows you how polished Call of Duty really is. Or even in its worst state, it still works pretty well. Oh, the thing that's pissing me off the most is I have all but one achievement. And the last one is get to level 50. And the progression of that game is stupid. There is nowhere that you can check in the menus that lets you know uh, how fast you're leveling up, how many XP points you need, and how many XP points you already have. You just level up whenever the game feels like it, it seems like. <laughs> I think I was at level 34 last night, and I counted. It took me seven games to get from 34 to 35. 
And I don't know how much XP I was earning because the game doesn't tell you how much XP you're earning. That's wild, especially for like a shooter game. That's like one of the most fundamental things you need to have. Yeah, the leveling's kind of busted. No big deal. Also, hit registration is shitty and snipers rule. It's like Black Ops 2 all over again. Black Ops 2 was good. Fucking, uh, I've been watching the last season of Red vs. Blue because someone posted it on YouTube and I'm like, hell yeah. I mean, it's not going to get taken down at this point, right? Check, right, check. like there we go. <laughs> there you the go. video was three. The video was three weeks old when I found it, so it's been up there for a minute. There's a team of really skilled people on. Uh, I forget what it was. It was archive of our own, or it was a GitHub that somebody set up, and they've archived all of Achievement Hunter Rooster Teeth's content. So it is backed up and uploaded somewhere. Damn. In case uh, Warner Brothers Discovery at one point decides to just delete the channels. But what is cool is uh, what is it? The f- Face Podcast. I'm going to make sure I censor the word f- face like they intended. They do. Uh, yeah. They retain the rights to their channel uh, and their previous podcasts. And they just renamed from f- face to regulation podcast, which sucks now because I can't say that we're, we have regulation l- listeners anymore. It's probably trademarked. <laughs> just got to call our fans a kernels. They'll get the promotion someday. To- stocks. Stonks. Commander stocks. or something. Oh, yeah. We could call them the stocks. Yep. We create our own social media the platform. Hugs. The husks, Cornhub? the stocks, the kernels, all available on Cornhub. <laughs> Colin, what have you been playing recently? What's your game? Uh, I mean, I've been playing a little Fortnite. I've been playing Ratchet and Clank, Rift Apart, and I've been playing Fallout 76 a little bit. But that's about it. Nice. Fortnite. I've heard the Battle Pass is crazy right now. They have like, a, uh, I know they have T60 armor somewhere in it. Y- yeah, it's like uh, page 10 or something like that. Oof. Okay, it's pretty late. Yeah, and there's there aren't that many like story quests yet, so getting experience is a grind. And mm-hmm. everybody's just driving around in vehicles right now because they're ridiculously overpowered. To run people over? Like, are they yeah. just like, beefed up? Spiked bumpers, uh, turrets on top of them where somebody can sit in the passenger seat and shoot the turrets. Spiked bumpers just rip characters apart if you boost into them. Most of the cars have unlimited fuel right now. Um, you have a, a ton of boost. There's medallions that make it so you have unlimited boost and shields and unlimited ammo. Um, it's It's pretty whack right now. I believe it. I just... I don't know. It's easier to get into it when it's like week five, week six, when you have all the challenges that you can do at once instead of coming back week by week. Yeah. That's what made Peter Griffin so easy, even though I was running out of time trying to get to him, was I jumped into the season so late that I was able to just keep leveling up because there were a billion challenges I could complete. The only problem is is, um, with the T60 being so far up the list right now, if you're not playing and just getting like the passive experience from playing throughout, Mm Mm-hmm you might have a struggle trying to get it later on. Which is what I ran into. But it, it is a nice thing with the seasons being like, you know, three months long or whatever. That's good. X Defiant's first season is like, I don't even remember. It's like three weeks, four weeks long. And it's bullshit because I put about 12, 13 hours into the game and I'm not even halfway through the battle pass. Yeah. For a game that has no content at the moment. Well, it, do you did you purchase the battle pass? No. Yeah, so that's the, that's the other thing. I bet if you had the battle pass purchased, you'd be progressing it way faster. Is it controversial to say that I just don't buy battle passes because I don't want it? Like I don't care about most stuff that's in it. No. Like that's they me. have they have cool items like every 10, 15 tiers. I know Fortnite always does the uh, like you earn five tiers and then the six tiers something super cool that you can get. Yeah, I just can't. That do it. that might be the that might be the tier that the T60s on. It's the problem that I face with Call of Duty. I don't care about the emotes. I don't care about the stickers you put on guns. I don't care about the calling cards. I don't care about the emblems. I just want the characters or sometimes the weapon. Yeah, <clears throat> and that's not the majority of the battle pass. It's maybe like fifteen tiers out of a hundred. Have you reinstalled Call of Duty yet? No, but I'm thinking about it because they put a bunch of stuff back in MW3 that I want to try out. I want to play a little Warzone. I don't know if I want to play Warzone, but I, I'll think about it. I, I'd like to give it a shot again. I just don't want to play it solo because it's mm-hmm. not fun. I want to finish co-op in MW2 because I never completed it. 
because there's a couple of achievements for yeah. like getting three stars in some missions, and I don't think I three starred a single mission. And I think it'd be fun. On the original MW2 or the remaster? The the remake. The one that's the, bundled with the new MW3. I want to say on the original one, I think I three starred a lot of them. Brian and Cyrus got all of them in Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3. Yep. We didn't do the DLC in MW3, so that's always something worth going back to one of yeah. these days. If the you're original. able to still buy it. Uh, oh, shit. Yeah, I got to go. Well, it's backwards compatible. It should still be available for purchase but they're shutting down the xbox 360 store soon yeah it is still well it's a backwards compatible game and i heard that uh games that are backwards compatible will still have those marketplaces still available because you can access them in game instead of going to the 360 marketplace but i don't know enough oh about yeah it. that lo- that little in game menu that it would bring up i heard a rumor that the web services will still be up like you can still purchase it on their website if you can't go huh. to the 360 marketplace I don't know. I think I'll just find out when it happens and then just go, yeah. darn, oops, didn't buy it. Like they did with uh, Nintendo last year. <laughs> I forgot to go back and get some uh, Wii games on the Wii U. Because like, they had both Mario Galaxy games for 20 bucks each. I totally spaced buying them. Cause oh this no, copies... you, mean, you mean the completely cracked Nintendo Wii U console? That... Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> That's that's for your uh, Minecraft server, okay? It's a later discussion. I, I'm not promoting anything. I'm just saying, yeah, they shut down the ability to purchase stuff on a console that has been thoroughly and absolutely defeated. So that's true. that makes no sense on their part. They're literally promoting piracy on their end. If buying is owning, then piracying is or pirating isn't illegal. Yeah. Yeah, if, if buying something isn't stealing, then pirating isn't technically theft i know ubisoft's trying to move towards that model i noticed uh yeah. on the xbox homepage, you're like oh play skull and bones now and it's because you can get a free trial of ubisoft plus and they're like oh it's free but it'll just tack on top of your game pass once the month's over if you don't cancel yeah which and plus skull and bones is terrible uh i read an article that the player count on xbox has dropped 90 percent since launch week well yeah it was it was terrible. I, I played the beta or whatever, like the free week was or whatever. And it was, I played it once and I was like, well, this is stupid. <laughs> Why play it when we have Sea of Thieves? I think Sea of Thieves is yeah. just the ideal pirate game. Yeah. The only problem with Sea of Thieves is it needs something more than cosmetics as being the only progression reason. That's fair. I do like that it's an even playing field. Like everyone has the exact same, I guess, like parameters for fighting. Like nobody has an yeah, advantage. But at the same time, that means like you can sink thousands of hours into it and have nothing to show for it other than your boat looks pretty and you have crazy ass like looking stuff. That's what Halo it's, used it's, to be about. It's yeah. Just getting cool armors. But yeah, in the modern landscape of gaming, I think Todd Howard said something about it last year. He's like, what game aren't you leveling up in nowadays? You're leveling up in every game. You're always working to do yeah. something. And Sea of Thieves is the rare game where it's like, oh no, you don't level up. You just buy cool shit. That's it. Yeah. It's like going to the grocery store in your Gucci belt. It's like, you're going to the <laughs> you're going to the grocery store like every other person, but I look cool doing it. Yeah, it's like, I'm going to take three hours to get ready and I'm going out for 15 minutes to Walmart. You know, that's me though. I like putting on pants. Like, I don't know. I I won't I won't leave my house unless I'm in jeans or like actual like shorts. Like I won't go out in basketball shorts or pajama pants or any of that kind of stuff. Just normalize wearing underwear in public. You don't on wear underwear outside. when you go out in public. Superman does it. No, I don't wear underwear in public. That's what the pants are for. Yeah. <laughs> Just like Ratchet free, and Clank once said, going commando. Free balling. <laughs> oh, man. I just read an article this morning. Uh, do you two know who Taylor Momsen is? Yeah. I know the name. I don't she's I the, tell you who She's the is. singer of um, that one band, and she was um, uh, uh, the, the girl from The Grinch. She was Cindy Lou Who. Okay, yeah. okay. What's the, what's the band? The Pretty the Reckless. Pretty Reckless? Yeah. Yep. Uh, she was opening for ACDC this week, and she got nice. bit by a bat, and now she is getting rabies shots for the next two weeks. Yep. Yeah. Has anybody checked on Ozzy? 
No, he bit the bat. He yeah, bit he bit the, the bat, bat, and the bat's coming back in the year 2024. He 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 bit the head off of a bat. I like to think that because bats are blind, that they thought Taylor Momsen was Ozzy Osbourne. Bat, well, bats not blind. blind. They just they just don't see that good because they fly at night. But they probably the, thought it was not, Ozzy, and then got not really all close. bats are um, reliant not on terrible. echolocation. Yeah, not all of them are nocturnal and do see echolocation, but majority of the bats, like if I see a bat here, it's just after sundown and you hear them going, kick, 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 kick. That's fair. They're I cool just thought little critters. I just thought it was a crazy article. Also, I didn't know that, that like that brought up the, the fact that you need to go and get rabies shots for two straight weeks. I thought it was just a one-time rabies deal. Nope. <laughs> I that's, know- if, that's if you're vaccinated for it or whatever ahead of time but they still recommend the treatment course even if you're vaccinated just to make sure you don't get rabies yeah you don't want rabies i think the number of people that have survived rabies i can count on my 10 fingers it's, yeah it's, there, there aren't many it's insane how imagine being go. scared of water like scared of water that's that's the thing with rabies you like do not want your body does not want water at all oh for real yeah, that's, that's part of that's part of why yeah. everybody dies that gets rabies because they yeah. they stop eating, they stop drinking. Yeah, you, you have to be on an IV with for fluids probably when if you get the full thing because your body will reject water, and you essentially go feral. Yeah, you get ra- get rabies. We can bring them back. We watched the Fallout TV show where they were like sitting there jerking their head, like remembering <laughs> reality, getting consciousness. It's like turning four. In a Target parking lot one day, when you're just like, "Oh, I'm alive," was that nobody else? I remember, I remember my first birthday. So, <laughs> my problem is, is I remember when I was like a toddler, like between one and three. I just don't remember the timeline of events. Like, I just remember yeah. random things, and I'm like, I don't know how old I was when I'm remembering this thing. Yeah, it that gets harder the older you get too. <laughs> Yay. Wait till you hit 35. <laughs> Wait till you have a kid and then all of a sudden you age fucking 15 years in a week. <laughs> no, I was, we were go. it was when Oscar and I were driving down to LA and BYOB came up on the radio. And I remember a very distinctive memory of hearing that song for the first time in a KFC parking lot. So every time I hear that song, I think of KFC and that's how capitalism works. Something completely <laughs> unrelated. No, I, th- I think that's, I think that's how, uh, was it um, Pavlov? I'm, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure you got Pavlov. You got Pavlov. Yeah, you you got <laughs> uh, classically conditioned. Mint Dwight. Mint Dwight. <laughs> Mint Dwight. Got to reboot Dwight, again. Mint? Dwight. Do you want an Altoid? It's pretty good. <laughs> Sticks Why out his hand. My mouth tastes all bad. <laughs> what, are, what are you doing, Dwight? I I don't know. My mouth is suddenly very dry, and I want a mint. <laughs> he doesn't even know why either <laughs> love it yeah I don't know there's also a lot of good music coming out these past couple weeks like you sent it to the group chat last night Colton um, Eminem's new single Eminem's new song out. yes sir yeah that thing slaps it's a very good song he brought back Slim Shady mhm he's uh did you see what the name of his next album is though uh uh-uh. uh the death of Slim Shady so it seems like yeah. he's bringing him back out for one final ride. It's pretty exciting. Well, I mean, though. they they basically fused <laughs> hot at the end of it. So <laughs> yeah, I just I just picture Marshall Mathers sitting in his house, staring at the mirror. It's like the fucking Green Goblin. He's just it's Slim Shady in the reflection, being coward. <laughs> you know how what it takes. He's like, no man, get out of my head, dog. <laughs> but at the at the end of the music video, he gets the blonde hair back, but he still has the beard. So it's like Marshall yep. and Slim Shady put together, and he starts tapping other people, and they get the beard and hair as well. Yeah, they show Doctor <laughs> Dre Slim with Shady the with the hair. <laughs> it was goofy, and it used the uh, it interpolated uh, "Without Me" a little bit, but it was a completely yep. different song. Yeah, it was it was very good. It felt like old school Eminem music. It had a, the bar that I think is just ridiculous on it is when he talks about R. Kelly. He's like, your favorite artist is R. <laughs> Kelly, Black Eyed Peas. I was like, Jesus. I was yep. like, this guy took four years off of music, and that's what he wrote. <laughs> <laughs> um, at one point, he's saying, fuck everybody. He's like, fuck you, fuck me, fuck my fans, fuck Dre, fuck my kids, they're brats, and he's got them on FaceTime. 
<laughs> they were all actually on FaceTime, all three of them. Which is th- probably the first time I've ever seen all three of his kids together. Yeah. Probably the first time they've all been together. <laughs> I imagine when they were growing up, they were together. But, like, Haley oh, went yeah. to college, like, 11 years ago. Haley just got married, like, yeah. in the last week or so. Did you see the wedding photos where Eminem is just, like, mad dog in the camera? Like, he hates yeah. existing. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I've said it a hundred times before. I'll say it again. It's just Eminem with a wig. Like it is so uncanny seeing Haley. Yeah. I don't know how to describe it. Like she really just looks exactly like him. Just a carbon copy. Yeah. I don't know what Kim looks like, but she's, she looks very much like a female Eminem, like Mm -hmm. blonde hair, standard Caucasian features. Like she, she looks like your standard white chick. Eminem's prominent forehead. Yeah. Yeah. That's what he's known for. Uh, some good albums came out too. Bring Me the Horizon. Finally, Surprise dropped their album last week. It was supposed to come out last year. They are like, I don't even know what to call it. It's like poppy rock music uh, for people that like anime. It's says very specific subgenre. If you like Neon Genesis Evangelion, you'll like Bring Me the Horizon. You'll like their newest <laughs> album. Well, it's very frustrating because like, it's called uh, Next Gen. What is it? Next Gen. Post Human Next Gen. And their previous album was. Uh, fuck, how am I forgetting the name of these albums? Somebody help me out. Okay. Um, the f- I just said. Um, okay. I, I, I didn't know. <laughs> so they came out with. An, I'm going to start over. They came out with an album a few years ago called P- Post Human Survival Horror. And this next album that just came out is Post Human Next Gen. And they said, oh, yeah, we're going to do a bunch of, a bunch of post-human EPs, and we're going to drop four in the year 2021. Well, it took them four years to come out with another one. So, And then their keyboardist left the band, the guy that uh, programs the electronics. So who knows what they're going to do for the future. But it's pretty good. There's a song on there called Top 10 Statues That Cried Blood, <laughs> which is such a TikTok name, but it goes hard in the paint, as it should. Mm-hmm. There's a song on it called Amen, and it features uh, fucking Little Uzi Vert, which sounds like it wouldn't work, but it's really good. Evanescence has to be getting ready to like drop a new album or something. I'm seeing Evanescence stuff everywhere. She dropped one, I think, at the end of 2022. It's like it's like her eat with the pill on her tongue. I don't remember what it's called. Uh huh. Yeah, I don't need. Yeah. Uh... It'd be cool if she made more music. But like. Yeah, it it wasn't bad. No, it's just it's just so weird because like I'm seeing Evanescent stuff everywhere. Like at Walmart, they have the records out now. Like they have like pop vinyls or whatever. Like it's just so weird. Oh, I don't because you don't go on TikTok. Uh, new metal is having a huge resurgence. Like oh, like teenagers right now love new metal. They are Yay! all all over Limp Biscuit and Slipknot. Like they love <laughs> Limp Biscuit. It's insane. <laughs> So, so, so they're, they're loving our dad rock. Pretty much. What we would call dad rock, but they're just like, no, this is metal. And they're having arguments with older people about what metal really is. Like the same I arguments. the heaviest stuff they've ever heard. Yeah, pretty much. They're having arguments the, the that ar- people had the 20 years ago. we started with the freaking boomers. Yeah. New metal is a real new metal. But they're rapping and it's great. No. <laughs> Can't handle it. Corn's another That's big it's one. It's called new metal and they don't even smell, spell new right. Yeah, they don't even know how news spelled. All over again without the cool factors. Oh man, do you think the Jinkos are coming corn back? With a K. Backwards R. Jinkos are coming back. Mm-hmm. Because new metal's coming back. It's like they're intertwined. Does that does that mean we're gonna get a new Tony Hawk's Underground? Tony Hawk's Underground? Is he okay? No, no. I'm just, I'm just saying. Does that mean we're gonna get a new Tony Hawk's Underground? But is he okay? So th- well, he's been there twice. Yeah. Yeah. Tony Hawk's Underground? Help him. Tony, Tony Hawk's Underground, six feet under. Why didn't they call <laughs> Tony Hawk's Underground 2? They could have just called it Tony Hawk's Still Underground. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> what if it was called Tony Hawk's Under Freak, and they just started freaking on a board? Can, can we get another SSX Tricky, please? Absolutely. That's where my money's going. EA. I want SSX Tricky Remastered, but basically just the original game mm-hmm. with new graphics. And I want Tony Hawk Underground Remastered. Did EA make Steep? I think. 
probably. No, that's Ubisoft, isn't it? Riders Republic, I know is Ubisoft. Then Steep's EA. Okay. They have the technology. They can do it whenever they want. They, they could do it this year if they wanted to. It's a fucking snowboarding game. It's not that difficult of a thing. They've already done it many times before. Yeah. No, Steep is also Ubisoft. Really? Okay. Yes, sir. Damn. Okay, never mind. Well, EA can, like, they can afford Stop it. Stop sucking. What we're talking about. Yeah. EA Sports Big. They have. Oh, man, I miss that studio. But, man, we need another NFL Street game. I know 2K is working Dude, on one. NFL Blitz. EA's big focus right now is college football comes out this month. It's June. Finally, we're getting another college football game. And they dropped gameplay for it this morning. And it looks <laughs> spectacular. But Hell it's yeah. college football. College, the college football games have always been notoriously better than the Madden games. It's going to have over yeah. 120 schools and I think 9,000 players in the game. 9,000 players agreed to be in the game. So That's more than Madden has. There's a mode that lets you play as the mascots instead of the players. So like you just do 11 on 11 football with the mascots from a school. So you have like the LSU Tigers cool. <laughs> battle the Florida Gators. And it's just actual Tigers and Gators on the field. It's pretty awesome. Interesting. The games are more arcadey than Madden, so they're a little bit more goofy. They get away with like not being a simulation game as much, even though it kind of is. Yeah. But since there's so many schools and so many players to worry about, they know that realism isn't the focus of the game. If they add Ultimate Team to it, I think it'll fucking ruin it. Yeah. I can't imagine opening card packs for college players. I have no idea who they are. They just have a big number by their name. You know they're going to do that, though. Microtransactions are the way of the world now. They really are. EA. Yeah. EA pockets are deep. EA's dick. It's in your ass. I remember uh, the memes of when the Xbox One was coming out where EA was going to come out with a controller attachment so you can just swipe your card on the spot so you can keep feeding the money. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's like the videos of those people when they fly to Vegas and they get off their flight and just book it over to a, a slot machine and start the shoving the money machine, in. Yeah. It's a sad those video. People are addicted. I hate slot machines. I'll be the one to say it. I hate, I do not like playing slot machines. I'll play them in Vegas a little bit when we're down there just because, you know, Vegas supposedly has loose-ass slots. Supposed so to. I'll, I'll go, There's a I'll lot go of throw some money in, in a couple of them. Yeah. Nice joke, Brandon. Good. No, I heard you, Brandon. No, I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was a good one, okay? You did good. <laughs> but I'll, I'll mostly be playing blackjack. I love roulette. I'm a roulette guy. Something about that wheel spinning. I don't get it. Are you a bet on red or bet on black guy? Black. When I went down to Vegas last time, I was there for the Raiders, so I was I was black on everything. Uh, but it irritated me because this guy walked up to the table and put five bucks in the machine because we were at one of the machine roulette tables with the the wheel in the middle. Uh huh. And he put I watched him put five dollars in the machine and he put all five dollars on double zero and hit and it hadn't hit wow. like eighty something spins. And he went, booyah! Wow. And then he put a bunch more money on double zero again. And he hit it. He hit double zero twice after it hadn't hit in like 80 seconds. That spins. was a time traveler. He went, yeah! <laughs> Boom! Let's go! And then he walked off. And I was like, hey, Sierra, I'm going to I'm gonna bet on red. And if black pops up, we're going to leave. Because there, there's a bad omen on this table now. <laughs> he took all the luck. <laughs> and I did. I put it on Dude, red. I, uh, I did that to a guy at the casino over here a while back. Uh, my buddy Justin and I went to go play blackjack, and we sat down at the table, and both were just playing minimum bets. I got three blackjacks in a row. <laughs> Dude, they'd been sitting at the table the whole time, like, doing max bets, just got up and left. Yeah, that's a sign. It, it's like, okay, that guy <laughs> has absorbed everything. Yeah, like, I sat down, I just got dealt blackjack after blackjack. I'm like, am I cheating? What happened? What's going on here? For real. Though. I was like, dang, I should have done a max <laughs> bet. <laughs> but no, it was, it was like, because, like, after the first one, I'm like, there's no way I'm going to get a second one, so I'm going to do a low bet, and then here comes another one. I'm like, okay, <laughs> that's not going to happen three in a row, and lo and behold. It's... It was unbelievable watching this guy hit double zeros back to back. It made That's me so crazy. mad. Yeah, it made me so upset. I won $100 playing roulette the first night, and then I lost it the next night because I went back and I was like, ah, we'll play again, order some drinks. So oh, I broke even. order the drinks? It's not like here where they just give it to you? Nope. 
Vegas, man. R- Reno's got to keep you in their casino somehow. Unless you're like spending a lot of money. Me, I just put a hundred bucks in the machine. Yeah, if you're probably sitting at like a high roller table, they probably bring you free drinks. If you go up to the bar, like uh, they have the hotel that we were staying at was the Raiders headquarters, and they had a bar for the Silver Knights, which are the uh, the minor league hockey team there. They had machines up at the, the the bar, and if you put money in those, you get free drinks. Okay. So the odds for hitting a double zero on a roulette wheel are one in one thousand four hundred and forty four. So the odds of hitting that is squared if you um for you to do that twice in a row. Wouldn't it be one in thirty eight for the first time? Because there's only thirty eight numbers. Or are you talking about twice in a so row? It's it's let's see here. Some of the odds might take into account like all the things that bump the wheel because it's not like a straight drop and do it. So those That's might true. be the other yeah. factors that made the, the odds of up. hitting a specific number is one in thirty-eight or one in thirty-seven for single zero wheels. Call that X. The odds of hitting the number twice in a row is X squared. The so odds 30... of hitting any repeat, i.e., simply seeing a repeat pop up on that display board, is X. The odds of any three P, i.e., seeing a three in a row on that display, is X squared. So it'd be X squared. For the double yeah. zero. So whatever 38 yeah. squared is, that was the odds of that dude r- running up to that table and hitting a double and zero. popping that twice. And that was the only two hands he played. He literally popped his money in, put it on double zero, hit it twice. Time traveler, man. I put a dollar on double zero to see if it hit three times, and it was not double zero. But Vegas has a lot of like slot machines I've never seen in my life before. Because you walk around Reno enough, and you're like, okay, they just have... There's a buffalo... There's a buffalo. There's a pig. That one's deal or no deal. Here's a wheel of fortune. Cool. And then like flashy generic ones. But they have ones for like TV shows, all your favorite sports teams. Like even though the NFL's like, we don't like betting. They have their own slot machines. Don't worry. As <laughs> NFL's, we don't like betting. And this this program is brought to you by FanDuel. FanDuel. The <laughs> odds of getting... Bet. The odds of getting three blackjacks in a row is 0.0095%. Well, there you go. That's some luck right there. Damn, sir. I, sh- I should have bought a lottery ticket that day too. <laughs> Dang. Was that luck or skill? Because gambling can be a skill, you know. Uh, not for blackjack. Not if you you're know. dealt three blackjacks in a row. Yeah, <laughs> that's skill. That's a skill issue. <laughs> yeah, because that was that was straight up on the deals. That was no hit. It was face up card is a ten. Face up card is an ace. Face up card is an ace. Face up card is a jack. How do you feel knowing that you walked away from that casino with a little more money in your pocket, but someone lost their job that night because of you? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean you gave him three blackjacks in a row? Like, I swear I didn't do it. <laughs> but but see, I was doing minimum bets, so they didn't get in trouble for it. Okay, yeah. I know. If I would have got, if I would have done max bets, they would have thought I was colluding with the dealer. I'm sure. I know there's an older generation that doesn't understand esports, but if we had competitive ranked gambling, they'd probably get it a little bit sooner. World Series of Poker? Yeah, competitive ranked (laughs) gambling. Dude. Yeah, like gambling on esports. It'd be a lot easier to understand. I mean, they do that for like Counter Strike and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. There is professional gambling for Counter Strike leagues. And then also. All the Counter Strike players with their skin dot club gambling addictions. Can you imagine the stress of competitive gaming when you know people are betting on you? It's a lot of pressure. Let's, Cyrus, let's start playing ranked duos in Fortnite. And, I'm uh, good. No, start winning to, money. Because I think it's all build, right? Or is there no? no it's build not. Build? They have zero build stuff too. Okay, there we go. It's perfect. I hate building, they, and I get they it. have competitive zero build. I'm one of the shit people that can't build in Fortnite. Yeah, me neither. I had a buddy that I played with him once and he was just like cranking out tiny uh, like tall buildings and I'm on the floor trying to figure out where the stairs are at. So like with controller though, if you turn on like the pro build mode or whatever, you can literally just sit there and spam buttons and you'll build like a fort. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Is that why they call it that? Yeah. Okay. I'm understanding now. I think save the world is still worth playing if anybody ever wants to give it a shot. I... I, I have it. It was given to me for free, so... Yeah, that's great. It's like Destiny does 2. It, does it even still exist since they came out with LEGO Fortnite? Yeah. You, you have to search it up. It's just its own game mode now. And it takes you to a new menu. 
they didn't shutter it? No, it still works. There's still like 40,000 people playing it consistently. I think it's more populated than I ever thought it would be. No, I didn't want to launch Fortnite. Oh, you stupid program. You're already into Fortnite. <laughs> it wants you to play, whether you believe it or not. Clearly. Competitive raked day drinking. That's mimosas. I read that comment somewhere. That wasn't my thought. Oh, you remember that folder I have in my phone of just like random things that I wrote down that I think are funny? Your journal? Yeah, my journal. Your goon journal? My unhinged thoughts. I came up with another one. It was, uh, if you're colorblind, can you even go to Red Lobster? It's just what? lobster. What? Do you, what? what? You, it's just <laughs> lobster. But you don't know where it's at because you're looking for a red lobster and you can't see it. Yeah, but you the, can tell the what a name is on the is. side of the building. Can colorblind people read names that are colors? Yes, but yes, they can. Colorblind. It's just a giant blur. Like it just says blur lobster. Colorblind means they don't see the color for what it actually is, sir. What if they accidentally go to blue lobster because the word blue is red? Some lobsters are blue. Most so lobsters are, 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 are blue. You, are you are saying you if you were colorblind, you'd buy blue waffles? On accident, I wouldn't know what color they were. Because you, you can't know. physically read the word blue? Yeah, because I'm colorblind. So you just, it's like Gavin. Sir, I think you have dyslexia. Working, he's like, I can't do it, so I'm not going to learn it. Pretty much. <laughs> the signs are on the other side of the road. <laughs> yeah, and, and you know, a colorblind person sees a stop sign and they don't stop at it because they can't see that it's red. Mm -hmm. But it says stop. Oh, but they can, so, so, they red can, so they can read stop, but they can't read red. Well, because stop's not written in red. And also, it doesn't say red. It says stop. If the sign said red, they, they wouldn't know what to do. <laughs> Sir? Your, your your speaking privileges are about to be revoked. What about Golden Corral? Is what Golden about? Okay, is Golden like as a color or is it like gilded? Like what's the difference? Gold plated. Well, one's a color. One's so, a color. So does that so does it, but with your logic, does that mean colorblind people when they see someone eating an orange, they just look like they can't fucking see anything. They're just eating air. They're eating a sensor bar. It could be dick. What the fuck's that guy doing? He's just eating air. <laughs> It's like John Cena. Yeah, you can't see me. Well, where did Look, Colton I disappeared. go? The fuck? <laughs> uh -huh. Sorry, I need to know this question. All colorblind people, let me know if you can go to Red Lobster or not. I think the answer might shock you, Cyrus. Be prepared. B what do you think they would say? Be I, think, I think they're going to be able to go there. I think there is probably a lot of colorblind people in the world that enjoy lobster, especially from Red Lobster. What if what if a colorblind person asked you, what's a red lobster? I've been to lobster before. Then would you call me up? Let they me can read, sir, and the name on the side of the building is Red Lobster. But they can't read red. And it's usually written in white. <laughs> just like the word stop on the stop sign. Yeah, I think the only red thing in the Red Lobster logo is the lobster. So yes, they can't sir. see the lobster? They, they don't need to be able to see the lobster. How would they know they have lobster, if, red lobster? Well, Cyrus, and Cyrus, it comes out with butter shadow, on it, and the butter's the yellow. Of a lobster, I don't see the lobster, but I still know it's a fucking lobster because it's in the shape of a goddamn lobster. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to bury you. Okay. I agree. <laughs> what about a redwood tree? What are you trying to do reading a tree? I shrugged my shoulders. I forget the um, audio listeners can't see us. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, technically you could read a redwood tree don't if you, a book was printed on it. Yeah, no, don't you always read a redwood? You, you, you've all, everyone's read wood when you read a book because books are made of wood. Mm -hmm. Paper is, you know, so Paper. everyone's read wood, wood. Every book is redwood. That's true. Except for the book that's made out of human skin. The superior book. <laughs> That, that, the, the forbidden book. There's no, there's a book about human anatomy that is bound in human skin. I think That's I know good. what you're talking about. Yeah, fucking metal, dude. As it should, right? It's actually the original copy of Grey's Anatomy. It's gray skin. <laughs> it's the original Necronomicon. But could colorblind people watch Grey's Anatomy? It says gray right there in the title. It, they can see in shades of gray. Colorblind people see in shades of gray, or they see colors not for how they are. Yeah, they could. So, yes, I agree. They could. 
You agree that they could watch Grey's Anatomy, but you disagree that they could find a red lobster. Grey's not a color. Yes, it yeah. is. Then what the fuck is this? Co what is this stone that I'm punching right now in Minecraft? <laughs> that's why I said. Well, that's why I said yes, because colorblind people can see gray. But you said gray is not a color. Yeah. yeah, you just. Then he's not blind to it. Brandon, can you drive over to his house and kick his ass, please? Thinking about it. <laughs> I'm I'm honestly <laughs> contemplating driving the nine hours. Can we show you where the hole is on the side I'm of the house? Her rig and, and hop drive down there. Room. Cyrus Sorry, the forgets time. that I'm in his walls right now, and I have a loaded rifle. Yeah, we no, see. I'm just, I'm just gonna jump my car in through the roof of his house. Might as well, like Donnie Darko, it while yes. I'm chilling in bed. That'd be yes. dope. I wouldn't even be mad at that point. That'd be pretty cool. I'd probably say sweet before it crushed me. <laughs> I don't know if you've seen my neighborhood. You get a car on top of my roof. That's impressive. I'll build a ramp out of your neighbor's house. You'd have to go flying off a, a mountain here in town. I don't want to dox myself. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> it's it's like you you push the rewind button on your voice and it just went backwards for a second. Yeah, it. <laughs> it. It's weird. I'm gonna undox myself. Why is there a blur there where Sars put a prominent landmark that he lives next to? There's only like 15 houses it could be if I name that place. So. And how many of those houses have explorers in front of them? There's actually another there's actually another house on my street that has the same explorer that I drive. Oh, okay. Does it have the same license plate with your name on it? It has his name on it. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna Does pause it the start recording. with a C? No, it starts with the <laughs> Yeah. But isn't that funny? Two people with names on their license plates and they're both explorers. That's, That's wild. Funny. Are they both red? No, that one's uh, like a teal color. Am I crazy or did last week's podcast just go up today? It did. David put it up last night. Caleb put it up last night. Uh, I liked the way that uh, having the camera on. It was cool. Yeah, I but... Don't know why. I don't know why Oscar didn't want to face the camera. He was like, no, it's fine. <laughs> I'll just have my back to it. Yeah, because you couldn't see okay. David or Bill. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, we literally only saw me and you. <laughs> I like having the gameplay, but I think that idea of if we could green screen gameplay behind us sitting at the table would be pretty cool. We just got to get like a, a stand to put the camera on. So it's not, it's a little bit closer to the table. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, plus David moved the camera up. You could see where he clearly cut off the kitchen because people were running in and out of the kitchen all day. I didn't also check <laughs> to see. Kept trying to crawl down off the gap. <laughs> he was, he was you, like, father, I am coming to you. <laughs> you can still see the gap in the video though. I haven't reviewed it yet. I want to watch it and see if David cut out certain parts. Because at one point he did something. I'm not going to point it out. And I looked at him. I'm like, David, you're on camera. And he just went. Ooh. I'm curious as to if I could set a video as my background on this. That would be very cool. Oh, I got the Black Ops poster right here. I forgot to bring it up. They did confirm that Black Ops 6 will be coming to Game Pass this year. Hell yeah. But. It will be... Holy shit, you can. There is Fortnite video footage behind Colton. Download and video broadcast, Cyrus. Oh, you got it. But Because um, you can ju just, just record a video and then set it as the background for your guys' webcam. If not, we can yeah. just set a green background and do it in post. We'll clean it up. But that's, that would work too. That's, that's crazy that that works. But, uh... Black Ops 6 will be in the Call of Duty launcher that they've been using for these last two years. So that's a big downside. Yeah, go Say that again, what? The Ooh. one that is Ooh. impossible to follow Ooh. and do anything Ooh. in and figure out where you're going in it. Fucking Infinity War. It's, so, it's so fucking hard to make a men main menu nowadays, you know? That's yeah, the hardest right? part about making a fucking video game. Because that damn start, push start to start. Everybody wants to be Fortnite and they're making it worse and going, oh, it's fine. Like, I remember when MW2 came out and they were like, oh, yeah, our menu's broken. We're hearing you people. We're going to fix it. And then they never fixed it. <laughs> but MW3 no, they has the same it. They made it worse. Yeah, they did. They were, they were like, oh, the icons are a little bit smaller. It's not the full screen. It's like, yeah, but it's still 85% of the screen and you have to scroll to find something else. Yeah. I shouldn't yeah. have to pop up three menus to be able to filter out game modes to search for. It's ridiculous. The entire top half of the screen is just an ad anymore. And every time you back in the store. If, 
if you click on the menu that you didn't need, you push back, and all of a sudden you're greeted by five different ads for fucking trying to squeeze money out of you. My biggest yep. gripe is I'm the idiot that bought the MW2 disc, right? So when I just want to play MW2, I pop in the disc, launch the Call of Duty launcher, and MW2 isn't the default option. It boots you into MW3, and you have to open MW2 from there. It's ridiculous. Yep. It's like, I want to play MW2. I put the MW2 disc in, let me play MW2. I imagine if I bought MW2 and didn't have 3, it would still load MW3 first, even if you didn't have it installed. It would just be like, hey, here's MW3. Do you want to go to MW2? Scroll down four times. It would probably make you Jesus. install MW3. <laughs> the hit, bang on your desk. So I hit the spring on my arm. <laughs> yeah. My bad. I was going to say, that's not like spring. Blong. <laughs> Sorry, audio listeners that just got violated. Everybody. Yeah, <laughs> everybody. That's how podcasts work. I just blew Jesus <laughs> yeah. off. Hold up. Hurry too hard. I got a picture of Jesus on my mic. You do? Yeah. Nice. The whole time. The whole the good old J man. It's the I took it out of my Explorer to put it in my new car, and I haven't done it yet because he goes in the uh, the visor mirror. It's the same one, Brandon. I've had it all these years. Oh, look at that! I, there it is. I used to do that with a necklace, and then I wrecked every car that that necklace was in, so that necklace no longer sits in a car. <laughs> I like to think I crashed my car because it didn't have the Jesus in the visor. But wasn't it in the visor when you... It's in the old Explorer, not the one that I uh, throw regularly. Uh, I have two Explorers for everybody that doesn't know. Don't you have three? Just two. David has the, the newer Explorer. Well, I, I know gray, David, has a, car. Dave, David has a 16. I have an 18. I have a 99. I, I just thought you ha I thought you had the the two that ran and then I thought you had like a junker one too. I have the junker, that's where I pulled the Jesus out of, and then I have the uh the oh, okay. ninety nine, which is the one that I crashed. Which David's gonna help me which, fix, so I appreciate it. It does that. that thing doesn't really need a lot of work. It just I need a new bumper and a new headlight mostly. And then David wants to look at the uh the fenders and make sure they're not too messed up. I was just say I would probably just get a new fender. It can't be more than a hundred bucks. We found a ninety eight Explorer that's also red at pick and pull that we'll go grab. So Yep. Mm-hmm. Pretty cool. Pull all the good parts off of that. If it hasn't already been picked clean. If not, I don't mind putting a green fender on it. Fuck it. The, <laughs> the other thing too is like with those pick and pull rigs, sometimes you're better off buying the whole rig, stripping what you need off of it, and then selling everything else for parts. Yeah, if you got the, if you got the time to rip the thing down, you can sell parts off of it and make all of your money back. Yeah, we'll figure it out. But if we move it, that means they, we got to get a trailer to move it. I don't think a tow truck company is going to be. I don't uh, want to pay for one. If it if it has wheels on it, or if you can put wheels like on the back of it, you could just get a tow dolly. That's true. From U-Haul for like forty five bucks. We could Flintstone it. Yeah. Use the flat tow it human condition to get it moving you could also just flat tow it too we could also just put well, an I'm engine in it while we're there assuming it hasn't been it's been pulled didn't you do that every time you drove it you right because it exploded <laughs> that's what it does exploders <laughs> nah if not we've already even considered using the explorer I already got out there and picking that one for parts but we want to leave that one intact because yeah. it's perfectly fine it just needs uh some r and r right now yeah. It's on a sabbatical. It needs a new I gotta Jesus. Get my, I got to get my timing components ordered for my truck, the rest of them, so I can finish it up. I love car work. But then it won't sound, then it won't sound like a tractor anymore. <laughs> You're not into that? Uh, it, it sounds pretty rough right now. I've got to get that timing job done. And last weekend, I just had to do the brakes on Cammy's car because they locked up on her. Oof. So I had to do rear calipers, rotors, and pads, and I'm going to do front rotors and pads here soon because the front calipers look fine. But the back the back ones were toast. They started salting the roads here a couple of winters ago, and it's just it's chewing everything up. Yeah, we had one snowstorm after I bought my new car, and that was it. Yeah. So, I don't know. I've also got to replace all the parking sensors on the explorer because we have a parking sensor fault and it it's one of them but you don't know which one it is so you might it's as well one replace of them. all of them 
God, my new car is awesome, but it pissed me off because I was backing out. And you know, if you have a backing up sensor, it tells you, hey, there's a car coming and it beeps at you loudly. Uh Well, I waited for the car to pass. It was gone. And I started to back up, but it was still like in the corner of the frame on the camera. And my car fucking slammed on the brakes for me. So I stepped on the accelerator, started going five miles an hour. And then my car just fucking stopped and I hit my steering wheel. And I was like, oh, that's cool. Because it's like, there's a car behind you. And I turn around and go, oh, the fuck there ain't. Yeah. Because it, yeah, it, it wants that, you to wait till it's completely clear. The, the, I, I don't think I will ever own a car with the, the automatic braking and all that kind of crap until cars are fully autonomous. My mom's car does that, but we have the settings turned off for like when you're driving, but when you're backing up, some of those sensors still go on. And I was at Maverick the other day, and there was literally like one car at a pump and one car next to me, and I started backing up, and for no fucking reason at all, I guess some someone that was at the pump just turned on his car so his headlights turned on. The car slammed on its brakes and went beep, 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 check your surroundings. And, I, and I, I looked all around, and I was like, there's fucking nothing there, car. Mm-hmm. And then it wouldn't <laughs> let you back up, right? Yeah, it didn't yeah. let me back up for a second, and it was like, okay, yeah, you're clear. That's what mine did. <laughs> Yeah, that I, I have a problem with that. That's why that's why I'm happy with the Explorer that I have because it has like all of the premium features with none of like the lane keep assist or auto braking or radar sensing cruise control. It doesn't have any of that. Cruise control is nice though. It has cruise control. It just doesn't have the radar sensing cruise control. I have that. So like it, it won't like automatically yeah the radar sensing cruise control so like if if your cruise control set at seventy five and you come up behind somebody that's doing sixty five a radar it'll, sensing it'll one slow will automatically down. Okay. slow down mm-hmm. that's cool okay and it'll pace yeah, my with truck them until you go to pass them. Do that. <laughs> I only use cu- cruise control when it's clear highways because it would not do that. Um, when we were driving back from Tahoe on Monday, I used con- cruise control on the way back, and there was a car that was going slower than me, so I decided to, you know, wait for a car to pass and jam into the next lane. As soon as I threw on my blinker and started slamming in the next lane, my car went from 60 to try and pick back up to 75 again. Yep. And I was like, hey, hey don't crash into the person in front of me, because it just started going, because it hasn't detected the new lane yet. Because it shows you on your dashboard uh, the lane that you're sitting in and the cars that are uh, in front of you. Yeah. Which is cool because there was a motorcycle in front of me and it still registered it as a car. I was like, oh, cool. I'm not going to kill this guy. Great. I accidentally fucking plow into him. Some people tr- that drive up to Tahoe, though, on their motorcycles, they're complete fucking idiots. Yeah. Like, definitely, when you're driving, be aware of motorcycle drivers. Give them more space, you know. They're just It's just common courtesy. But then there's, like, lane splitting is illegal in Nevada. But there's plenty of dumb idiots that'll be fucking just lane splitting up fucking gridlock traffic and I'm like, you're one car just waiting there's a, there's a car down that road somewhere that's waiting to get over and someone's about to let them over and right when they creep through, you're gonna be flying through there. And it's gonna be your like, fault because you can't, you're not supposed to lane split in Nevada. Literally, it's illegal. You'd be The biker would be completely at fault. Unless the dude driving is drunk. That would be the only thing that would get you out of it. Yeah, even well, then. No, you, you, you would <clears throat> still be held accountable because you can't be like absolved of doing of someone doing something bad onto you while you're in the middle of doing something that's illegal like if you're going a hundred if you're going a hundred miles an hour and someone pulls out in front of you yes it's their fault if they pulled out in front of you but you were also going a hundred miles an hour so you're equally at fault the only reason i say if the person was drunk is because obviously if if somebody calls the police and they're drunk they're going to jail and i think insurance would just say mutual responsibility so like the yeah. motorcyclist was doing something illegal. He'd have to pay for his damage. The car was yeah. drunk. Not the car, the driver. No, the car itself was fucking <laughs> just bonked out. That Losing episode his of lid. Mythbusters when they put moonshine in the car to make it run. <laughs> <laughs> Who's got Everclear? Let's go. Window washing fluid. <laughs> It'll get those bugs off. Don't worry. All right, boys. We're at about an hour. Closing Hell remarks. Yeah. Um, don't be an idiot while you drive. And um, that's subscribe. Good. That's good advice. Like the like the video. We got a beat of the week coming up here at the end. Make sure you go to our SoundCloud. Listen to all the beats of the week. This week's beat of the week is going to be last week's. We forgot to edit it in. 
if you get us to uh, 300 subscribers and this video gets 20 likes, then uh, Cyrus will reveal who he is beating all these weeks. Yep. Every single week. So I can't see Redwood anymore. <laughs> all right. Yep. Make sure to check out our links in the description below. Follow us on socials. Keep up with what they're doing on YouTube. We got two new videos every week, at least, at the minimum. That's two videos mm. every week. Yeah. That's a threat. Watch them. How I many see is that watch a month? Time. Like eight? That could be even eight. Sometimes even like nine. If a week starts Ten on a Monday. Even. Ten even. What if it's a Ten leap year, even. huh? Like this year. Then, then, then they got some extra content. <laughs>